Our next guest is one of music's fastest rising stars. And since her debut album hit number one on the charts, she is showing no signs of slowing down. Please welcome Queen Nija. Hello, how are you? Hey! Hi. We're so welcome, good, glad Queen to have Nyjah. you. Thank y'all for having me, I really appreciate it. Okay, so we first got to know you through your YouTube videos, and now you're making music, you're, own, you're making your own music and it's blowing up in the charts. What has the transition from social media star to music sensation been like for you? Um, well, it's actually been smooth because I created a fan base on YouTube. And then like when I got into music, like people, it just kind of fell into my lap. People automatically stream my music and um, I don't know, it was just, it was just super easy. The only thing is I think it got a little bit harder just trying to get out of the YouTube only category. Like, you know, people still mm -hmm. trying to put me in that just a YouTuber as a singer box. And I, I wanted to be more of an artist. That's real, yeah. And not to mention a few years ago, you went through a really public heartache with your ex-husband, but now you're happy and in your love with your new current boyfriend, Clarence White. So after all that you've been through, Queen, are you now more hesitant to be open about your personal life? Like what changed? Well, I actually have been a little bit more reserved, but I'm still like a transparent person. I just kind of, tr truth be told, like I didn't even want to, I didn't want everything to come out about my last relationship, but it just came out because things were being done publicly. So I hadn't like, it was already out there, but I just feel like um, it was it was inevitable. Like I was gonna get with somebody who was in the limelight probably and, and Clarence was already, he already had his own like thing going on, going viral, people knew who he was. So like, of course, when we got together, it was just gonna be out there, but I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't really, I'm not really hesitant. I just, I'm transparent with what I want to be transparent with, I guess. Yeah, you God, know, it's I your life. That. You can, you have a, a right to say what you want to say, put out what you want to put out and what you don't, you don't. Don't, don't, don't pay them no attention, okay, queen? <laughs> At all. But I am going to ask you about those two beautiful sons of yours, Christopher Jr. Yes. and Legend. And I'm curious, they are adorable. Your name being queen and your baby being Legend, you know, are those like big names to live up to? Um, yeah. well, I mean, shoot, I mean, I... My mom named me Queen because she said she knew I was going to be a star. So I feel like, you know, naming your children is like you're kind of speaking into their life in a way. I wish I could have named yeah. Chris, Christopher like a different name, but his dad wasn't having it. He wanted to be a he wanted him to be named after him. But Legend, um, <laughs> Clarence was OK with him having his own identity. And so Legend was just like a. I think I'm also speaking into his life. I, I, he could be a little a little legend in his own way, you know, as he gets older. And, yes. Yeah. Um, I think I'm living up to my name. I'm trying to, at least. You are. You are. And you it. know what? You posted the cutest video of those babies. Let's take a look. <laughs> legend! Why would you do that? A legend! You tricked him. So cute. <laughs> Originally, when you became pregnant, some people actually assumed that your career would be over once you had your baby. What do you have to say to those haters out there or for other young women that may be in the same situation or are being told that they won't be able to accomplish much being a mother? I feel like my music and my success speaks for itself, honestly. Um, People said that, but I wasn't, you know, at, honestly, at first I was very bothered. I was trying to put out my album, mm -hmm. like right after I had my baby. Um, but I didn't want to rush it because like, I didn't want to give a trash rushed album. Right. But I could tell that it got to me in the beginning because I was trying to rush for other people. But you know, sometimes it takes time. I want to sit down and be a, a mom, you know, and, and raise him in his younger, well, he's still young, but in his baby, baby days. But I feel like it speaks for itself, but you can do both. Like you can, mm -hmm. you see Cardi B yes. did it too. She had her baby and like, she got right back yes. to work. So stage. I mean, you can do both. Yeah. Never put a mother in a box. Yeah, yes. Garcelle <laughs> have yes. three. I love that. See, and she a mother I do, I have everything. three, you can't box me up. <laughs> 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 but Queen, I have to ask you, how does it feel to have your debut album misunderstood? Be so personal, one, and also two, be, uh, you know, get to be number one. How is that? 
Um, honestly, I didn't expect it. I mean, I knew that my my core fan base would love it, but as far as like number one, I don't know. Sometimes I just like I try to think think good but at the same time I try to think realistic and I'm, I was thinking the whole time like oh this is my first album so it's gonna do good for my fan base but you know we still gotta build but for it to be number one for debut I was like yes like just really grateful and um now I have pressure on me because my sophomore album I have to I feel like I have to like outdo myself once again yeah I love that well, congratulations on everything that you have going on. But before we go, I have to say that I love hearing you sing my husband's music. I saw it on the internet, on IG, that you were singing his song in the car. Would you ever consider doing, like, worship gospel music? Definitely. Um, actually, I was born and raised um, in the church, and I grew up singing in church. That's how I became, like, a singer and more fluent in it. I used to lead the praise team at church and Israel Halton was one of my favorite like artists like to really bring in you know worship at church but I would love to I would love to collab I would love to I make showed a, him the video a, a yeah I would love to do that I showed him the video and I was like you guys should do something together so maybe yeah. we'll make that happen yes, we will. We will I love that well, Queen Nyjah, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Congratulations on your album. You can check out her new album, Misunderstood. It's out right now wherever music is sold.